My name is Emily if you are new and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I am really excited because I'm going to take you guys shopping at Kirkland's. Um, they actually asked me if I could showcase their new spring flower market line for you and I was like oh my gosh absolutely I am so in for that and so that is exactly what I'm going to do today and I'm actually looked online and from the pieces and they have some good items and I know the store is going to have even more so I'm going to probably show you how you can style some of the pieces here at the store and then obviously I'm most likely going to buy something and I'll show you how I'm going to decorate it here in the house because I'm currently in the process of redoing a few rooms like the playroom, the office, the kitchen, and the um, dining room. So I'm sure I'm going to find some pieces to put in those spaces and everything. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. I hope you hit that subscribe button and become part of my family's I love to inspire and motivate you. So whether that's doing DIYs, doing a little shopping and decorating, or organization or cleaning, whatever it may be, I just hope that you leave happy and excited for the day. So with all that being said, let's go over to the store and do some shopping. They have so many gorgeous wreaths in this one with the peonies and the eucalyptus. Oh my goodness, it is just beautiful. They even have cotton stem wreaths and they have just a ton of spring floral wreaths for you to choose from. The possibilities here are endless. Depending on whatever style you have, I promise you there is something that fits it. Their floral paintings are absolutely gorgeous. In person, they are just breathtaking. They are very large and make a beautiful focal piece in a room and everything. And they're actually a really good price for the quality that you are getting. They have these different floral uh, centerpieces and these are about 30 inches or so wide. So they're very long and narrow and beautiful. So they, again, they have different colorings for you to choose from. This one I thought was beautiful with all the tulips and the galvanized um, dish. They have tons of different vases. Oh my goodness. And the blush pinks in the store. You guys know I like blush pink. They have a lot of it. And then they just have your traditional farmhouse industrial um, pieces and everything still. And they just incorporated such beautiful pieces into this floral market. And look at this floral cart. Oh my goodness. I wish I could have one of these in my house. potted plants are a really good price. They have some cute galvanized tins. They have really cute bags. Oh my goodness, there was just so much to look at. All their floral stems were beautiful. I love the farmer's market palette. Everything was pretty affordable. You can use your coupons and whatnot um, on all the items as well. And so you can see here just a selection of some really cute items. This tin was a really good size. It's about 18 inches tall and it was only 16 bucks. I'll show you all of their florals here in a second, kind of up close, and you can see all the prices and everything. have these baby's breath in. They have this kind of like sage looking plant and then this has the cotton stems in it. Really beautiful. And then they have cotton stems all by themselves as well. 
and then their vases um, these ones are a really nice size and they're light ceramic kind of like a clay material they're really beautiful and I love the vibe that they give off and then they have some really cute trays so if you wanted to make your own uh, floral arrangement you can I mean look at these galvanized tins these things are really large and for $20 and there's a little bit smaller one and um, I think it's 16 oh no sorry $13 it was really good Watch me. just follow every move touch me All of these stems were a really good size, especially the bushel type like I'm showing here, this lavender for $8. You get so much. It's almost like three bouquets in one and they're wired. They are just nice quality and they look real and they're very just a nice soft pastel color for the green and also for the um, purple as well. I just like the different stems and everything. They have some really cute trays and of course candlesticks so many candlesticks they even had the potted lavender which i think looked amazing looks definitely real but it won't die on you because i love the fake florals that they have lots of different vases and just some really pretty pieces i'm loving the spring collection now i wanted to show you how you could style a few of the pieces so i took the farmer's market tray with the galvanized tin and just kind of layered on a few of the florals on top and you can see it just kind of livens that up so if you're looking for maybe in the corner fireplace or something or an entryway that would be beautiful i added the baby's breath and then the daisies to this three um, tray vase and i really liked that they have these cute little chalkboards for ten dollars you can add that to a um, farmer's market basket with a ton of florals in it I think it'd be really beautiful and everything and then they have the really large pitchers this is some eucalyptus stem it is gorgeous it is a great focal piece for maybe on your kitchen or just anywhere really in your home you can see just playing it up with different colors and everything it just turned out really nice you could also use the darker stems I'm not sure what this stuff is called but I really like the way it looks and then I'm adding a little bit of the baby's breath in there if you don't like to play with color it's totally fine they have plenty of options for you to go for just the neutrals but if you want a little bit of uh, color in there they have the lavender sprigs and everything and I think it just looks amazing all together and then there's the same stems in a different pot I want you to see it just for two nights I want to They had the cutest striped farmhouse pillow along with the home sweet home one and then the boxwood in the tray it says home love 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 and then i thought this happiness sign was adorable i probably need to go back and get that and then they had some of these grape trees uh, sifters and then obviously more and more candlesticks so many to choose from so i am back home and this is everything that i picked up 
And so the first thing is this really cute um, vase set. It has the chicken wire detailing on it, and it has this assortment of different ferns. I think it is just gorgeous, and you can really use this anywhere in your house. Ferns just add a nice freshness to decor, so I highly recommend getting some of those. I got this really pretty vase. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's like a ceramic, but it's a little bit lighter. It is really nice. They have so many cute ones. I might go back and get some of the other ones. And then... Uh, this one is a succulent. It feels and looks real, and the vase part is super heavy. I think this is like a cement vase, super pretty, and I love the detailing on it. And the succulent feels real. I mean, it's squishy and it's wired too, so you can move that however you want. I picked up two of these eucalyptus stems. These are so pretty. They are not like anything I've seen at any of the other stores, and they're just like that silver dollar, but they have that really pretty spring green to them and they actually come in a three pack so if you wanted to separate them you can and they are wired i got this daisy set with some cotton stems in it again this is wired it's super nice i just like the quality of these and they just look real they look like you just went out and picked a fresh thing of flowers which is i think exactly what they were looking for for this um inventory that they have there's this mini floral assortment i got in yellow i think it's gorgeous and just kind of introduces us to a little bit of summer and very springy rutabecca and i think that i'm saying that correctly but they are beautiful look at the pink on that it's just gorgeous and again they are wired and they're very kind of like silk flowerish i just like them they're a little bit fuzzy i have this lavender set but it's not purple it has pink and i think it is just gorgeous very light and Easter spring um, colors in that, and it's wired. It's pretty darn full too, so you can really arrange that and fluff it out. And then I got two of these baby breasts, one in the white, and I don't have anything like this. I really tried to, for all this stuff, pick up things that I do not have in my floral set already, and I really like the white, and the pink is just gorgeous. It's almost like a dark fuchsia. It's just really pretty, and these... These baby breasts just look so real. I cannot recommend these enough. Oh, I love that. The last thing I got is this gigantic vase, and I love it because it has that chippiness to it, and it's super large. It's about 20 or so inches tall, and I really like that. So I think I'm gonna put this in the kitchen with a several of the pinks and the yellows, and then I'm gonna distribute those. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. The eucalyptus, I think it is just gorgeous. You can totally just do the eucalyptus in here, but I want to add some color. So I think I'm going to use this daisy uh, cotton stem set. And what I like to do with my florals is I like to pull them apart and kind of fluff them out. I think that's a really good thing to do. And then what I like to do is kind of interlace them in between the other ones. So I will pull like the eucalyptus in between and then push the daisy through the eucalyptus so it just looks really natural and has um, as if you just picked a bouquet out of the wild type of thing. The rutabecca and add that as well to the, to the vase and I think just a pop of pink will be very very nice addition to the kitchen and again just really pretty I'm just interlacing those as well because they are so bold of a pink I want to make sure that those are distributed very well um, in the bouquet. If you don't feel comfortable, you know, setting up your own bouquet, they have plenty of those already set up for you at the store that you can purchase. But I like the, I like doing my own arrangements. It's more fun and I can get really creative with it and everything. So I prefer to do that myself. So I think that looks pretty good. I really like how that looks in the vase. Now we're gonna go put it in the kitchen take this one down because this was just a natural stem and I had water in it and it just wilted and everything else. This beauty, I think this is a much better fit for the size of the pot and everything for how tall the space is. I think it fits much better and I like the coloring, the pops of yellow and the pink. It's just beautiful. I'm going to just leave it just like this. I think it's very beautiful and everything but I have a couple other things that I'm going to add up there like I have this little um, jar here that holds my ginger and my garlic that I cook with and everything so I think that will be good and it plays with the pink in there but I think I'm going to add this beautiful vase here as well and then maybe add the pink baby's breath to it now you can just uh, snip these off if you wanted to but I like to save my stems so I'm just going to bend it 
really good. And then I'm just gonna stuff it in the jar and then maybe just fluff the flowers a little bit. Since they are wired, you can change the look of them quite easily. And I think I'm gonna do something like this for this area. I think that looks very pretty. I haven't seen much of this room yet, but I have added two of these shelves here. I will be doing a decorating video on that soon, but I made this sign for the playroom. I just love it. Uh, I think it turned out really well, but I think this fern set would look really pretty here. I like the coloring of the green, especially with the wood tone, and it's just a beautiful neutral palette. I really like this, and the room that we are in is the playroom, and that has a little bit more of a bohemian farmhouse look to it. And so I think this is just perfect. I love the chicken wire on here and everything. I think it's gorgeous. And I think I actually might put the succulent plant here. Um, I really like, again, this um, cement look of a vase and the succulents feel and look real. It's just nice and they are wired so you can make them go any direction you really want them to. So that is how I have used some of the Kirkland items in my home so far. I do plan on spreading out some of the other florals throughout the house and everything as I get some of the rooms going and everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this decorate and shop with me at Kirkland's. If you did, be sure to like it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I hope that you guys can go out and shop at your local Kirkland's as well. I will leave a store locator link down in the description box below for you to find the nearest one to you. I hope you all have a beautiful blessed day. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.